Welcome to the global business of sports. Have you ever wondered why some teams are more successful than others? Have you ever wondered why some wealthy individuals decide to invest in sports as opposed to other enterprises? But also, who are these commissioners and people that lead these sports? What does it take to be successful at that end? And this interesting combination of media enterprises, sponsors, and sport, how do they come together? How do they determine that they can be successful working together and what are the steps they can take to be even more successful. And the other big expenditure we see in sports, facilities, new stadiums and arenas. Are those really beneficial to communities or are they more beneficial to the owners of these sports? Global sporting events, the World Cup and the Olympics, a two week and a four week sporting event. Should communities spend large dollars on these? Is there a positive impact left behind that really makes it the right thing to do in terms of the kind of spending and the spending options and determinations that enterprises should make for investing in sports and the communities as well. And then finally, is there a truly global success model for sport? Is there a model that sits out there that we should all look to and recognize this is the path that sports enterprises should take? Profitability, but also positive impact. In the seven modules that you'll experience in the coming weeks, this is what we'll cover. And by the time we finish, hopefully you'll have the answer to some of these questions.